Tay Keng Soon, a veteran architect in Singapore, has called on the government to clarify the truth behind Operation Cold Store, Operation Spectrum, and the shuttering of newspapers in the past. He believes that Singapore needs to reconcile with its past and dispel the accumulated toxicity from it. Operation Cold Store and Operation Spectrum were two covert security operations led by the Internal Security Department in 1963 and 1987, respectively, to allegedly root out the communist threat in Singapore. Those detained without trial as part of Operation Cold Store have suggested that the communist threat could have been exaggerated. Journalist Said Zahari, one of the detainees, claimed that the operation was not about arresting the communists but was instead used to weaken the opposition to the People's Action Party, PAP. Scholars have been split on the issue. Historian Thum Ping Chin has argued that the PAP utilized the operation for political capital, while fellow historian Kumar Ramonkrishna has asserted that the communist threat was real. The arrests that were part of Operation Spectrum have drawn more prominent criticism. A total of 22 people were arrested and detained without trial under Singapore's Internal Security Act, ISA, in mid-1987 for their alleged involvement in a Marxist conspiracy to subvert the existing social and political system in Singapore, using Communist United Front tactics, with a view to establishing a Marxist state. It is important for any society to reconcile with its past and learn from it. Tay Keng Soon's call for transparency is a step towards this goal. The government should clarify these issues so that Singaporeans can understand their history better. It is only by acknowledging past mistakes that we can move forward as a society. In fact, this is not just a problem faced by Singapore alone. Many countries around the world have had to grapple with their past and come to terms with it. For example, Germany has had to confront its Nazi past and make amends for it. South Africa had to deal with apartheid and its aftermath. In both cases, acknowledging past mistakes was an important step towards reconciliation. It is also worth noting that there are different ways of dealing with a country's past. Some countries choose to prosecute those responsible for past atrocities, while others opt for truth and reconciliation commissions. Whatever approach is taken, it is important that it is done in a way that promotes healing and unity. If you found this video informative, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. What do you think about Tay Keng Soon's call for transparency? Do you agree with him? Do you think Singapore should follow in the footsteps of other countries and set up a Truth and Reconciliation Commission? Share your thoughts in the comments below.